This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Corvette. It is a 2007 Chevy Corvette Z06. Um, it is a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Hollywood, California. Um, it is a 7 liter Z06 with a 6 speed manual, obviously, the motor. Uh, LS7. Uh, we put new tires on it, got an oil filter, oil and filter, and the front valance is new. Uh, it was not on the car. We bought a new valance for it. Um, so we get it here and we do our inspection and immediately it's obvious that this is more than just a regular Z06. So here's the deal. No cat, straight pipes probable cam and head work selling on a mission waiver assume it's a race car obviously tuned with unknown tune we will link a dyno video that we did last week on this vehicle 700 horsepower to the wheel 755 horsepower to the crank so obviously things have been done we didn't do them it runs great clearly the way it lopes when at idle when you're not on the gas it's had work done to it it's a pretty badass car but we want everyone to know that you're the owner of this vehicle. We're not guaranteeing that it'll pass emissions. We're not going to take it to Arizona emissions. We think it's about 75% chance that we would get through of Arizona emissions. Um, but we don't want to do that because we don't want to red flag it. Okay. So you're going to buy it on this thing. If you don't know what you're getting into, don't buy the car. We have people who are all over this thing right now and it's not even online yet. So please know what you're doing uh we will entertain zero bitching on this vehicle this is basically a race car that you know we can prove is a race car because of the dyno you'll see the dyno you'll see the video it's the real deal okay um anyway i'm gonna walk around this car there's not much to look at that's wrong uh anywhere um it's got new cooper tires on it okay brand new from discount tires um we do have the receipts for those um what did we pay for those 750 i mean we could have gotten better tires but we were trying to keep the price down you know the guy who buys this thing probably put something better on it but they are brand new okay um i think somewhere there was a touch-up somewhere i think i yeah right here there's a little touch-up little line right there um i think that's about it could somebody pop the back for me, please? Obviously, I usually I do these videos by myself, but usually they're automatics. So. All right, let me give you some more information here. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the car for a Z06 two-door with 32,805 miles. Uh, so typical listing price would be 33,955. Obviously, the fact that it's got 200 extra horsepower would make it more valuable to some. Um, they went to a company called Mustang uh, Dynamometer, or that's a Mustang Dynamometer, or whatever that is, whatever that means. I don't know. Harrison Performance Tuning, tested by. So that must be the name of the dyno machine. And that's the company that did it. Um, that's my brother. This is the Corvette. You'll see the video. 699.5 um, horsepower to the wheels, 755.5 to the crank. Okay, um, here's the title we got from State Farm Insurance. That is the VIN. It was given to State Farm on 11, 8 of 18 actual miles. They signed it over to us, 1, 9 of 19, over to Wheel Kinetics. Okay, 32,805 miles. All right, just so you know, this is, there's the VIN for the vehicle. It's called a statement of facts, and it says, this vehicle is a theft recovery and does not fit description of a total loss. Um, insurance company decided to sell with clear title. So there you go. Okay. So, um, bu -bu -bu -bu. what else is going on in here? Battery. What do we got going on here? The canvas that goes over. Oh, it's the canvas that goes over this thing. Gotcha. All right. A little bit of peeling right there. Oh, there's a little bit of, little bit of peeling right here on the chingasso. I don't even know what you call that. Okay. Somebody fire this thing up, please. Why don't you just hop in it now and get it running?
give it a little bit of gas. emissions on this vehicle it's painfully obvious why if you do not understand this whole process and what is involved don't do it we have people all over this vehicle who understand um, you know now some of the people who are all over it don't have enough money to buy this vehicle some do um, uh, but we just want to make sure the right people buy it this thing is a bad mofo all right uh, 
but we're not guaranteeing emissions and that's going to be in writing all over the place it's in the video i showed you you know what you're getting into okay um and the people who know this car know exactly what's going on um let's see what else um deposit once we uh have your 500 dollars deposit we'll put your name in a banner over the vet at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours until then it will stay for sale please get your deposit in i'm sure this thing is going to blow up our our website i'm sure i already know it is um but whoever gets their deposit in first is the winner and if you know one of the dorks here in town who you know talk about big game about how they're going to buy it don't buy it uh you know and mess around and you know play games i'm sure that somebody out there in the internet is going to be the winner and this is a hell of a car we saw this exact car with the exact miles although rough as hell uh, bring uh 31 at uh odessa auto auction last week and they seller wouldn't sell it because it wasn't enough money and that thing was rough it had front end damage and not built up like this one that was a rough car so you know that's the kind of area you're going you're definitely going in the 30s i have no idea where my brother's going to price it he's the uh, guy with who's done the twin turbo supras and the nsx's he knows what to do with the pricing on this vehicle um but it's obviously going to be in the 30s so you know if it's in the 30s and it's you know going to have emissions you know deals to deal with please know what you're doing before you get involved hell of a car um also the very end of these videos, I always say the same thing about every vehicle, and that is that we don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, uh, we don't have, there's the plate by the way, that's always good to have the plate on your floor while you're driving around. Um, we don't have the things that brick and mortars have that they have to pay for. Um, so we don't have to charge you as much as they do for a vehicle. Because of that, we are not going to do repairs on the vehicle after you buy it, especially on a highly modified car like this, okay? So please realize, we're gonna drive it inside, we're not leaving this thing outside. Um, please realize that the day you're the owner, you're the owner, and that we're not gonna write checks for future repairs. Um, obviously this car was babied and modified and well taken care of, but uh, you know we're not writing checks for repairs and we're not dealing with any emissions issues whatsoever, okay? All right, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.